Hello, my name is Logan Kirkus, and this is my presentation for the board's objectives. I am a uh, game art and animation student at University of Advancing Technology, and this is just a video showing my, how my work meets these objectives. So starting with objective one, um, it's just more about like traditional art theories and current game development practices, and this is some of my work showing those. So starting with this first perspective piece is basically just a uh, a vision of a room. It shows texture, values, basic lines, and a building utilizing focal points, uh, which you could see this also does values, lines, and everything with two different focal points that go off the page. It's also a great way for a location uh, when you're building games to go find a place, a really interesting building to help you uh, get inspiration to build um, in game. And this is just like a little grid thing showing a bunch of smaller pieces, creating, you know, lights and darks, correct, uh, reflections, texture, shadows, all that kind of stuff. And then this one, I was playing with Photoshop in one of my classes, creating a dynamic scene um, in color theory. Um, this also shows my experience with Photoshop, being able to crop, place, and saturize images together. And these are some of my personal works, um, just kind of going over form and color again in space. This is a character that I, I uh, drew up and painted. Uh, it also shows color values. I mix the colors myself to make certain shadows, and it does correct lighting and shading. And this is a character that just goes with dark black space behind, creating a colorful, cool little picture. And this is a character... Um, it's basically just the form and value and everything. It's also great for, um, you know, showing characters. So objective two, this is basically just being able to do pre-production and creating assets that could be used in any kind of game platform. So this is a character that I created with a dagger. She could be incorporated in pretty much any 3D game. This is a Monza 6 that I created that could also be put into pretty much every 3D game. This is a, a Unity scene that I made. Um, I didn't create every single model in it, but I created the terrain, textured everything. And then here's a better picture of it, kind of showing it from the character's view. And then these are some props. I've made many props throughout my schooling here, but this is from my student innovation project, just a couple of props. And this is a 2D scene with a HUD and all the 2D assets I put in it all can be used in any kind of 2D game. And then I also created a fully operational main menu and pause system in Unreal. You can watch it whenever you need to. For Objective 3, it's basically showing my ability to create 2D and 3D assets that are fully texturized, utilizing industry standard software tools. And these are some of it. First one's a tree from that Unity scene. Basically created the trunk, unwrapped and textured it, and then I went to Photoshop and created a uh, bran uh, branch and leaves uh, and I made it an alpha texture and put it on planes within 3ds Max, and that's what I use for my. And here's showing it in Unity. I made a whole forest in the scene with them. And this is a character I created in Maya as well as the dagger. I put her into ZBrush where I created detail in the clothing, hair, eyes, and I even gave different facial expressions. I unwrapped it in ZBrush as well and texturized it through there. There's some of the unwraps, normal maps. And this is the dagger. I was kind of going for more of like a domestic steel texture. And then this is a modular building that I was starting to create, which is just, you know, one with a wall, one, one with a window, some concrete walkway, and a cardboard box to kind of help the scene come together. Then again, my, my 2D um, vector that I made in Photoshop, vector art. And it has a full HUD. All the 3D assets are good. And then I also created a goblin that would walk through that scene in Photoshop as well. And then for the next objective, this is morally talking about animations and um, for 2D and 3D. And it's usually a key uh, understanding of keyframe and motion capture. So starting with the 2D is my goblin with his walk cycle that would basically walk around that 2D scene. And then going over here, I have some videos. I created this chest with a uh, opening and closing animation with working hinges. 
Um, and then this creature was given to me, but I created a custom rig inside of him. I way painted him and I made a walking cycle using the keyframes. And then in Motion Builder, um, I put my character inside using the uh, motion capture recordings. I created an idle animation as well as a run animation. However, the run was made a little weird on intentionally, so it's pretty scary to see. I'll show it to you guys later. And then there's a Taylor animation. I'm sure you know every animation student's made that. So for Objective 5, uh, this is basically more about having fully optimized assets being put into the game engine itself. So I have a couple things here for my game production studio classes. I created all of these things right here, workbench, full blacksmith, you know, pitchfork, scythe, shield, sword, bellows, you know, furnace, grinding wheel. All that stuff was put into Unity. And I also have this bell tower was put into Unity. It's in the in our game project, as well as the gazebo. And then, of course, my tree that I made that I put into my personal Unity scene. There's some videos you can see going through this scene right here. You can see me walking around with the trees everywhere. I made the forest. I also created these uh, little bushes right here, these little plants with alpha textures as well. Uh, I'll show this one later. And this is from my student innovation project uh, where I created the four weapons. You can see them over there in the wall. At the click of a button, it switches each one. This is an Unreal. And then I go to, actually I'll show that one later. And then Objective 6, actually I'll show that one now. Um, for this one, it basically shows the working idle animations. I put an AI on the creature, making him just walk around. And when this character runs, you know, it's a horrifying run, but it all works and it's optimal. And then for Objective 6, this one's just basically about um, collaborating with other people and pushing out, you know, polished, completed projects, basically. And the only one that I was with was in my game production studio where I was an artist on Draw the Game, and it was my job to match the art style and create assets. So going through the assets, um, I made this bell tower, um, I made the gazebo, I made this workbench with device, and then I made a furnace and bellows, torch with the sconce and then a candle candle holder and then all these blacksmith stuff pots and pans tools uh, grinding wheel shield sword hoe scythe you know holders the chest and then this is basically just showing you know my sprint log from one of the times however I did end up taking more of a leadership role in this project the lead artist uh, and project owner graduated and found a job so she had little time to lead us she asked me if I could take more of a leading role and lead the meeting, uh, go to lead meetings for her and make sure the other artists were making up their hours and sending in their assets on time. I was also tasked with importing those assets uh, that others created into uh, Unity as well to uh, help the project go because she was, you know, working long hours. Um, and then here's a video of just kind of showing my assets off. I'm not going to show all of it, but kind of walks around and shows, you know, some of my stuff going through here. It goes to the next project where he walks around and sees it because he an actual level. And then my bell tower right there. Oops. That's pretty much it. Oops, I don't know what's done there. Um, but that's pretty much it, and that shows all my objectives uh, being completed with all of my work. Thank you.